the Hearts lineup shows only positional changes from the side that won in Dublin in the UEFA Cup. Mike Galloway is in central defence with Kenny Black moving forward. The Hearts subs, Eamon Bannon and Alan Moore. And there is Ian Ferguson, the Hearts favourite since joining them from Dundee United. Only one goal in the league, but four in the League Cup. Well, Rangers field uh, an unchanged team for the, their match today. After beating Cadovici, Richard Goff returned from injury. There's no place in the Rangers team for new signing Andy Gray, and he will certainly come into the reckoning for next Wednesday's Skull Cup semi-final. And there's Ray Wilkins, player of the month, recognition of his splendid midfield work for Rangers. Match referee, the experienced David Syme of Rutherglen and Lace Linesman, Mr McBurney of Dundee and Mr Robertson of East Kilbride. Tynecastle bathed in sunshine for the B&Q Premier Division match of the day. Yet another sellout, all ticket crowd at Tynecastle. Remember, no Premier Games uh, last week because of international duty. And Rangers have won the first free kick. Checking with the linesman, Henry Smith pacing anxiously, look at the distance. Cooper cracking it low, Brown. Wins the first corner, 40 seconds on the clock. So pressure on the Hearts defence in the opening minutes. Butcher up there, just a clutter of bodies. Smith in trouble. And Dave McPherson doing a good job as the Hawks defence were under extreme pressure. And this was the problem ball that put Smith in all sorts of trouble. And McPherson kept a cool head. And they backed away by Foster, but Hawks get a chance to go down the left. Ian Ferguson doing a good bit of work. Foster. And it's Hart's turn to come back at Rangers. A strong reply. Corners conceded at both ends and just over two minutes on the clock. Galloway up there at the far post as Foster prepares to take this one. Ferguson two, but Woods was there. English international, clean pair of hands. Durant's gliding header. Kid put under pressure. Does very well indeed. Tight. Wilkins opening it out. Beautiful ball from Gary Stevens. Walters. Gets it back from Ian Ferguson. Mark's defence uncompromising in clearing the lines. Butcher. Offside, given by Linesman on the far side as Butcher's through ball caught the Rangers attack out of position. Galloway. Butcher forced to clear that one out. Go to Kidd. Kai to McPherson. And McPherson driving it well over the top, but pushing forward. This is a Rangers, uh, Kevin Drinkle has uh, pulled a muscle, and Phil Bosma giving him attention. And the uh, youngster Scott Nisbet just being brought on. And they could have checked uh, the studs, of course, Brian Robertson, the linesman. As soon as shouting instructions, clearly towards uh, Nisbet and Walters. Pushing there, spotted by the referee. Well, 
Butcher and Wayne Foster collided there. Butcher appeared to impede the Hearts attacker and the referee quite correctly awarding the free kick to Hearts and Terry Butcher, the Rangers captain, being spoken to by the referee. Guy setting it up for Ian Ferguson, but well over the top. Like stopping it, there was a gap, and uh, Ferguson blazed it over the top. Ian Ferguson for Hearts, John Cahoon. The duel on with Brown. Kitten support. The referee waving play on as Cahoon is down. The momentum's carrying hearts on. Butcher beating Foster in the air. Black shot. And Stevens dubbed that perfectly. Almost touched the spit on it. But the heart supporters are grieved that they didn't get something out of that in the collision between Cahoon and Brown. The referee allowed play to continue but it still came to nothing for Hearts. Foster popping up on the right. Cooper got back, but... Will be a free kick. Quickly taken. Nice bit of play, Mackay with the chance, and Woods! outstanding players and that really deserved a goal he set it up and almost finished it here he is in the initial build up going for the return that left foot and Wood's left hand in comes the corner Butcher there Mackay and Woods was strong and powerful, punching it away to Nisbet. Durant's in the middle, long diagonal run. Room on the left for Rangers to spring something and they can get the ball over, but they're working it low on the right. And Galloway was so cool. to Cooper going round the outside beautifully and then slipping at the crucial moment once again Galloway driving the ball away from the Hearts area for the throw. Ferguson to Walters and Dave McPherson just holding him. As we're now in the final minutes of the first half here at Tynecastle. Defence is on top and an uncompromising first half. Butcher, Durant trying to get round the back, and a corner. So Rangers finishing the half where they started, and it was that corner that caused problems for Smith in the first minute. Durant and that one was flicked away again. It's another corner. So Rangers pressure in the closing seconds. By our watch, the first 45 minutes are up, and just look how dangerous Durant can be. The shot, and just deflected over the top from Black's head. And over it comes. 
Carson steering it away. Break on for Hearts. Wayne Foster. Ian Ferguson got back. That was a clean tackle. And Hearts have got a corner at the other end. Oh, what a dramatic finish to the first half. It seemed there would be no time to take the Rangers' corners, but Hearts have managed to squeeze another one in. Hearts, fifth corner of the first half. And again, the cross ball not uh, delivered where needed. Rangers breaking. Just kept in. The Hearts just mop up that attack with consummities. allowing a full two minutes in this first half. Rangers had to make a substitution, of course, when Frinkel pulled the muscle. Very missed that one for once. But a little bit of an ankle tap gives Hearts the free kick. And there should be just time to take this and no more. Carson hits it long and deep down that left flank. The half-time whistle finally sounding. A fiercely fought first half, defences on top. Hearts probably had the better chances. Rangers certainly in the early stages troubled Henry Smith from the corner. But it was Hearts working with the free kick. Ian Ferguson had a good effort. And then, of course, Gary Mackay's shot, brilliantly saved by Chris Woods. Nothing each in half-time. Hearts get the second half underway, and they've got a very good record that time, Castle against Rangers. Last season, both league matches finished in draws. Indeed, Rangers' last league win at Tyne Castle, February the 7th, 1987. seems capable of delivering the correct weighted forward pass. Well, first to that one. Walters, Durant through the middle, chance for Rangers, penalty. down by Neil Benny. Now this was Durant going through, Berry came right across, bundled him off, and really the referee pointed to the spot correctly. Ian Durant is going to take this one himself. An important penalty kick for Rangers. In off the post! 